in the outer lower quadrant and uh, she had suspicious findings in the mammography so MRI scan was performed here is the lesion and let's discuss it let's start with the stair or term sequence as we can see in this region there is a uh, in homogeneous edema with irregular borders let's scroll the images and you will see the edema reaches the adjacent thoracic wall and extends forward this is the T2 sequence now let's start from the shape. As for the shape, it's uh, quite amorphous. We can say it's a little bit round or a little bit ovoid. However, it is amorphous. There is no specific shape. And uh, there is irregularity in the contour of the region, lesion. And uh, as you can see, there is uh, some speculation. This is the T2, so it has a low signal. I would like to mention that uh, breast lesions with bright signal in the T2 sequence are usually benign, like cysts, fibroadenomas, or fat necrosis, or something like that. So, a lesion with a low signal in T2 has a very high possibility of uh, malignancy an exception to the previous rule that uh, high signal lesions are in, two, in T2 sequences are highly suggestive of a benign lesion uh, it is uh, in colloid carcinoma colloid carcinomas appear bright in T2 images so in our case we have a low signal lesion in t2 sequences so this has high possibility of malignancy another point is that uh, the lesion is speculated if a mass has uh, speculated borders like in this case it has an 80 percent chance of being malignant This is the T1 image, which is again is depicted as a lesion with irregular contour and speculated border. This is the diffusion image. As you can see, the lesion is bright there is a restricted diffusion so just remember that a solid mass with restricted diffusion a bright lesion like in this case has a very high possibility of malignancy and this is because it represents high cellularity this is the post contrast T1 sequence let's have a look we can see the lesion with a significantly irregular contour. All the uh, speculations uh, are enhanced. There is significant overall enhancement and there are some areas, central areas of less enhancement. I don't see any changes in the skin there is no skin thickening in the left axillary region there are a few lymph nodes uh, some of them look suspicious because they have uh, a round shape and there is lack of uh, the central hilum like in this case okay this uh, lymph node does not look suspicious because uh, 
because uh, it preserves the lipoid hilum but uh, some others are suspicious because they are round there is some irregularity of the contour and I don't see any typical lipoid hilum like in this case as for the kinetics we can see that uh, there is a rapid enhancement in the initial phase uh, there is plateau type 2 kinetics curves in 46% uh, and uh, rapid washout in 5% so the overall uh, appearance of the kinetics are suspicious so dear friends this is a case of an infiltrating ductal carcinoma in situ thank you for watching if you find my videos interesting and tutorial please subscribe to my channel so you will be notified soon when i upload my next video thank you again